Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood.
He's right. Time to get my shit together. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. And Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I could use a Michael pep talk. I guess I'll have to start fresh with these in Juno. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. What the... I should probably eat something. Feel so weak. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. <sighs> so many months of snow boots ahead. loved this one. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened, but what the hell was I supposed to say? I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. That was a good memory, even though Tyler couldn't come.
Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. 